Hi everyone, today I've got an update video for you. Soon I will be releasing a city scatter tool for Blender, and what this will let you do is generate a cityscape using pre-made objects from collections in the Outliner. It's fairly similar to previous generators I've done before, where you can add your own artwork into those collections to get the style that you want. Now originally I was planning on sharing this tool with you in this video, but yesterday I shared a preview of the tool on Twitter and it got a much stronger community reaction than I was expecting, and that made me come to the decision to spend a bit more time on the tool just to get it to a higher quality. I was originally planning on doing just a free version to give away, a bit like the random weapon generator from last year, but I've now decided to do both a free and a paid version just like the mech and space station generators. The tool will create a distribution of large to medium to small shapes, with large ones being centered around the middle. It will also readjust the positions of objects to prevent them from overlapping. This means it will be really easy to create cityscape concepts with only a few clicks. So I'm going to put the preview I showed on Twitter yesterday on the screen now. So I load the operation, I adjust the radius, and you can see that new objects begin to spawn, and as the radius expands, smaller objects will start to appear. These are just placeholder objects while I was testing the technique. And then I'll go into rendered mode, and boom, cityscape render. The code for the City Scatter tool originally comes from the next update for Biogen, which is still in development. There are a few reasons why I've taken this code and decided to turn it into a standalone tool. These reasons focus around me trying to find a balance with my responsibilities of outputting content and continuing development on projects, because I feel like I should be outputting videos at a certain frequency. At the same time, I feel like I should be outputting development updates at a certain frequency as well. Now, sometimes this is easy to do, and sometimes this is a little bit more difficult, with Biogen, because the add-on has generated a large user base, I feel like I need to spend more time on the update to get it to a higher quality with more features to make it more interesting, more useful, and to give people more to do with it. Now because of this, it takes longer to work on, and obviously I can't do a video every week about that. Now a compromise I've come up with is to take snippets of code from the update I'm working on and then turn these into small standalone tools, which I can then share in a much shorter time frame and do a short video about. This also allows me to feel like I'm putting content out on the channel within a good time frame, and it also gives you an opportunity to provide me with feedback on individual features for the next update. So please feel free to give me feedback and any ideas for new features for the products. Whenever you do, I write everything down and I keep my notes on a chaotic Trello board. I might show you a screenshot here, although I'm sure 90% of it will be redacted. If the city scatter tool sounds interesting to you, then here's some previews of stuff that I've been making with it. And if you want to be informed of when it's available, then by clicking on the bell icon, you can subscribe to notifications for when new videos are released. You can also follow me on Twitter because I always make announcements on there when new content is available. Also, if you follow my Gumroad account, you will get email notifications whenever I release or update something. So I hope you're looking forward to the product because I'm interested in seeing what sorts of concepts you can make with it. Also, I've recently started running a weekly challenge on my Discord server. The first one, which finished at the end of last week, was called Make Donuts Great Again, and it's in reference to Blender Guru's donut tutorial for Blender. The idea behind the challenge was that because the Blender community has become so flooded with the same donut renders over and over again, I would challenge my community members to be creative and make them more interesting again. I really liked the first place winner, they did a robotic donut which I thought was really cool, and they also managed to link it back to the community with a variety of references. After I announced the results, I shared them on Twitter and also tagged Andrew Price, and it seems he found the challenge funny, so I'd say that's mission accomplished. If you're interested in seeing what other challenges we're going to run, then feel free to join our Discord server by using the link in the description. Once you're inside, head on over to the current challenge channel to see what the active challenge is. So yeah, just letting you know that there's a new tool coming as we step closer and closer towards the next update for Biogen. I want to extend a massive thanks to everyone that keeps leaving tips on the free resources, because you are the reason that I can keep working on these products full time. Giving most of my work away for free is of course a financial risk, and that does of course burden me with some anxieties, but I'm always caught in this conflict of wanting to give everything away for free to be generous to the open Blender community, and dealing with the reality that this needs to be financially sustainable if I want to continue doing it. But with the help of your generous donations, and all of you who have been buying the paid versions of the resources, this is currently sustainable. So if you manage to maintain this pace, or even continue to grow, then I'm sure many more interesting and complex tools and educational resources will be coming your way. If there are any ideas for features you want me to add to the next version of Biogen, or if there's any other kinds of generation tools you want me to make, then feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll give it a read. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. You are bad at 3D modeling.